Well, would you get a load of me? I'm looking pretty fly right now. In any case, greetings everyone. This is Potato Hedgehog, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. We may have finished the story mode, but there is more behind the scenes that we have not seen yet, ladies and gentlemen. Did you ever wonder what happened to Bardock? Did you ever wonder what happened to Gohan? Future Gohan? Well, in this episode, you're going to find out. And, um, you may be wondering why I have the crystal battle suit. I... I confused the Shenron wishes, so, um... I don't have my Saiyan's hair, the one that you've seen in my design of him, so... I'm going to be in Super Saiyan 4 for a while, and so I can fix that. <laughs> Sorry about that in advance. But in any case, good to be back in Xenoverse 2, even though I finished the story mode a few days ago. So, let's talk to Trunks. What's up? Sup? Alright, Trunks, let's go on another time patrol, even though I am not the one who's gonna be playable. You'll see what I mean. Oh, good. You're both here. Bardock dragged Mira into the time rift and something happened. I'd like to show both of you just exactly what had happened. Show us. But what could possibly have happened? It's easier if I just show you. Here, look. What the? Bardock? I can't... I can't shake him off! How is he so strong? Don't! So weak. Overpower me! How dare you make a fool of me? This time, it's not about the Saiyans. Even my son, Kakarot. I'm here for payback! Never underestimate a Saiyan's power! Get ready! How could I? By the likes of you! So, ladies and gentlemen, here's one of two extra after-story fights that we can do after the main story. In this part of the game, we play as Bardock, Goku's father, and the masked Saiyan, as we beat the shit out of Mira for what he did to us earlier in the story mode. As he said down there. And believe it or not, Bardock is one of the characters that I don't use outside of story mode, so controlling him was kind of a pain in the ass. But, he plays really well, and I like his moveset. Oh, and also... Retcon! So, if this game is to be believed, and if... Bardock, the father of Goku, is canon, I don't know if it is, then Bardock was the first Super Saiyan, not Goku. Did you hear that, Potato? What, Roshi? Half of the Dragon Ball fan base is gonna come after you with pitchforks now. Even though I love this series to death, Moshi, I don't obsess over the lore, so... 
They can come after me with pitchforks all they want. I'm just a newbie. Even though I've been into Dragon Ball since... 2007, I believe, because that's the first time I saw it, even though it was, it was completely by accident. And did you know that I never watched the original Dragon Ball, yet I watched all of Z, all of Super, and all of GT? And I'm one of the few people who actually enjoys Dragon Ball GT, except for the first arc when Goku transforms into a kid, but that's just me. Super Saiyan 2 because fan service. Since when could Bardock do that? I'm not well versed in, in the Dragon Ball mythos, but I know that Bardock can't do that. At least not in the canon sense. Right. Because this game kind of dives into Hero's territory a little bit, and a lot more in the Infinite History DLC, but I'll get into that later. But in any case, you have not seen anything yet, Squid. What do you mean? Because what Bardock is about to do, I think, broke the fan base. Three, two, one, Super Saiyan 3! What? Correct me if I'm wrong, Potato, but, uh... You technically can't go Super Saiyan 3 without being dead. Because that's what it took for Goku. Right, but... Super Saiyan 3 can exhaust you if you don't use it correctly, and I think you... I think it's basically useless if you don't have a living body. I mean, if you have a living body, it's useless. But somehow Bardock manages to pull it off. I'll tell you how he managed to pull it off. Marketing! Right. I guess. I... I lost. I... always wondered what it would feel like. That thing they have... that I don't. I think that I... understand what it is now. Wow! Bardock managed to defeat Mira! Unbelievable! Mira ignored Toa's orders in the final battle, in a bid to push himself beyond his limitations. It seems like this fight with Bardock has really caused Mira's very nature to change deep down. That's all well and good, but what'll happen to Bardock now? When Mira regained consciousness, Bardock was no longer there. Yes, but what does that mean? From the instant their battle ended, until the time Mira regained consciousness, history just... disappeared. It appears that the clash of all those superpowers in one location caused some kind of anomaly in the time rift. What does everyone else think happened to Bardock? That battle was fought with such sheer intensity that if the rift did rupture, it wouldn't exactly be a surprise. When you think about it that way, Bardock could have been sucked into a whole other dimension. The thing is, I heard turning Super Saiyan 3 comes at the expense of extreme exhaustion. They're both possibilities, that's for sure. Well, if he's still alive, we'll probably bump into him again sooner or later. We have to... With such a sudden awakening and violent explosion of power, he could have obliterated himself. They're both possibilities, that's for sure. Well, if he's still alive, we'll probably bump into him again sooner or later. We have to get back to our investigations into history. Right. 
Yes, ma'am. Thanks for all your help, Trunks. You were really great. Speaking of Trunks, looks like we got another mission for him. Well, <clears throat> you know what I mean. This is the second this is the second after story mission that we can do and it's annoying as hell. It's you! Huh? So, Trunks isn't with you? Don't worry, I asked Trunks to take care of another assignment. Seems there's been yet another change in history. Ordinarily, I would ask you to fix the alteration right away, but I want you to take a look at this first. Well, let's get cracking! Trunks, you came from the future, didn't you? So Bulma was able to finish her time machine. I'm really proud of you, Trunks. Thanks! Right. It's not the time for this. Seventeen and eighteen are attacking the city. You're right. And this time, go on. Go on! I'll go with you to fight! This time! This time! I won't hold you back! What are you saying? You know you're not allowed to do that, Trunks! If you help out Gohan here, you'll change the course of history! I... I know... But I... Trunks? Please, you have to stop Trunks! Trunks... Is there something you want to tell me? I... If you're here... All grown up, then the future is safe, isn't it? And so, this fight has a real purpose. That's enough for me. No! You can't! Go on! Trunks, it looks like you've made a good friend. You can't abandon a good friend, can you? It's really good to see you, Trunks. Go on! Oh, I have been dreading this. If you don't know what this fight is, it's the one where Gohan fights 17 and 18 by himself. And if you're not leveled up high enough, they will destroy you. And I'm not kidding. 17 and 18 seem to have a higher AI percentage than the other the other characters in the game. And that's saying and that's saying a lot. Considering that Goku, no matter what version of him you fight, um, when it comes to the AI, is already strong enough as it is. So when 17 and 18 come after you relentlessly and seem to predict your every move, and that's saying something again, that should really say how hard this mission is. So unless you know what you're doing and if you're not leveled up high enough, prepare to redo this mission a lot. I've done this fight more times than I can count because I've beaten Xenoverse 2 several times over over the, over the years that I've had it. But, seriously, this fight is the worst. And people thought that the Frieza and Cooler fight in story mode was already hard enough as it is. I can take down those two no problem, but 17 and 18, they give you quite the challenge if you're not prepared. 
Luckily, Trunks is there to help you out if you're doing if you're doing shittily at the mission, but uh, he tends to go down quite easily because your partner's AI is not as good as the AI that's fighting you. Because believe it or not, Trunks came close to dying in this footage. But luckily, I remembered how to use future one-armed Gohan, so yay. And also. I know it's due to censorship, but Gohan should not have an should not have an arm. Because in the original anime, I'm pretty sure Gohan got his arm chopped off. And I guess they didn't want to show that even though they show blood on the characters and this is a T-rated game. I guess they didn't want to bump it up to M. Says the blonde android who's almost dead. You know, before 21 was introduced, Android 18 was actually my favorite of the androids. I mean, look at her, she's a fucking bombshell. But, I have 21 now. How the fuck did she join your harem? I don't know, Moshi. Maybe it was because of my unnatural charisma. Unnatural charisma, my ass. But in any case, how is this the worst fight in the game if you've already taken down Android 18? Not in the sexual way, mind you. Yeah, I think I may have overestimated how difficult this fight is because I've done it before. Look at this insane combo I pulled off. Holy fuck. Impressive, but you can do better. Wow, way to diss Trunks, 17! Seems you wanted to go out to Gohan. Wee! Oh man, he teleported. And I wonder how many of you recognize the track that I'm using for this boss fight. Because it took me forever to find it. This is the original version of Jetstream Sam's boss music from Metal Gear Rising. Because I think the game version of this theme is absolute dog crap, but the original version sounds a lot better and I wish they used it in-game. And the worst fight in the game is done! Oh wait, Potato, didn't you tell me that there was another worse boss fight than this? We'll get to that, and it's in the Goku Black arc, but we'll get to that, trust me. like we won. Those androids have been vanquished. Peace again at last. Looking forward to a little bit of rest. Feels good already. Trunks? Why did you come? I thought I told you to stay away. <sighs> Don't you know you shouldn't come here? You're right. It's unforgivable. And now I can never return to that world again. But I just couldn't. I just couldn't bear to see history plagued by any more unhappiness. Or a future like that one. Trunks. It's fine. I don't regret my decision. You're right. Seeing as you saved me, I think I've already said too much. Trunks, I really owe you one. It's thanks to you. You've turned into a really strong fighter, my friend. Thanks, go on. We could use someone as strong as you to help protect this world. So? I'd be honored. When Cell shows up a few years from now, the two of us should be able to beat him easily. We need to destroy Cell's eggs in this era. Oh, and we need to do something about the slumbering Boo, too. Cell? Boo? What are you talking about? Look, I know what the future has in store. I have to use that knowledge to restore peace. Amazing. You're like our very own crystal ball or something. 
First things first, though. We need to tell the Bulma and Trunks of this era that the androids have finally been defeated. And I need to get you all introduced, too. Uh, uh, sure. I think Mom will be a little shocked to find out she suddenly gained an extra son. Don't sweat it. She'll be happy to hear the extra pitter-patter of little feet. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, would you look at that? This change in history came about from the conflict with Trunks. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, that must have happened when Trunks met with the Gohan of this timeline. This history is all wrong, but I'm sure a peaceful future awaits further down the line. It's possible that could be the future Trunks is so intent on reaching. Maybe, but leaving changes in history is dangerous. They could be the catalyst for further deviations. Just like this one here. What do you think? Do you think we should fix this distortion? Or should we leave the timeline as it is? Hmm. Perhaps you're right. All right, then. I understand just how you feel. I'll bear in mind all of what has already been said, but the final decision is still mine. Well, good job, kid! Have you been to the Hero Coliseum yet? There you can enjoy explosive figure battles using the state-of-the-art battle simulator! You've got all kinds of hero figures at your disposal, and you can use and combine them in any way you see fit. The number of combinations is unreal! Mix and match figures to create your own ultimate team! Bulma, shut the fuck up! I don't care about the Hero Coliseum! In any case, those were the extra story missions in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. I will see you guys in the Universe 6 arc, which is after this. Till then, ladies and gentlemen.